Okay, Joyce. I have to admit, your cover this week grabbed. Okay, oh sorry. I, even I can't make this bad joke. It, it grabbed me. Yes. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> it's like okay. Forgive the bad joke. Forgive the bad joke. But the fact is, yeah, Grab has. I cannot deny that Grab's been doing such a great job, and you managed to actually, you know, talk to Anthony Tan about it mm. after this whole thing about. They got this huge investor in terms of like Didi, yeah. SoftBank. That's right. W- did he give you an indication of what else they're going to do to sort of like win this ride-hailing war? Uh, I think basically, well, I think they're going full steam ahead. Uh, there, mm. there are still there are still lots to do. I mean, here, yeah, to that, I mean, they're looking at just from ride-hailing. They're going into e-payment systems. Mm. So they're going they're going deeper into two businesses, okay. business uh, models, mm. right? And um, it's also about making it com- convenient for riders to passengers to take the ride with them and solving solutions in the Southeast Asian region because they were they're very focused in the region here. Yeah, which I think is a great thing because they seem to be winning the war here. Of course, Uber is here as well, yes. but Uber hasn't been doing as well in Asia. Let's not forget China didn't okay. pan out. They have massive management issues. I mean, did he say why he thinks that? Th- it, this focus actually works better than what Uber is kind of doing? I mean, he didn't comment about Uber. Yeah. I think he's just commenting on Grab. But Uber, I think they are focusing more on the Southeast Asian region after they left China. Mm. They've moved their resources to this region. So the fight here has, I mean, it's it's even hotter now la, between Uber and, and, and Grab, right? But for Grab, what he's doing is they've always said that Southeast Asia is their home. Mm. So they will always want to focus here because they say this is our home and it's all about local products, solving local solutions. So that is what they're doing. And I think what they do is, what they believe that they can do is because they're locals here, mm. they know the issues here and you know the localized concept on how they do things like, you know when you take a Grab ride, you can pay by cash because mm. some people in the region are not used to paying by cards. I think when Uber first came here, you can only pay by credit cards. Correct. But they have introduce the cash mm. already for um, cash payments for their rights now and I think another thing that local thing that Grab did was to introduce a chat system mm. where you can chat from passenger with the with the driver to say like, oh I'm waiting at the lobby instead of calling because they find like Southeast Asians prefer to chat rather than than talk so all these localized things that yeah looking I agree at. and of course the one thing I have to mention that I absolutely think is genius point system Oh, grab, I think, uh, grab rewards. Yeah, right? I think oh, that's okay. genius right, because right. It, it makes you want to accumulate points okay. that you can then use and, and go off. Okay. But the one thing he mentioned, and this is the point where it made me think very much of another start startup, is that he, he said profitability is a long-term goal. Mm. But it doesn't matter to him that he's not making, that they're not profitable now. And it reminds me so much of Amazon because Amazon was loss making for right. years. But you cannot say that Jeff Bezos is not successful, right? Mm. Don't you think mm. so? Yes, I think for them now, what's important is solving, the solu- solving problems here. Mm. So there's stuff like right, like traffic jams and congestion. And yes, yeah. right, things like that. So, so they want to do that here first, and and e payment system. They want to build the business, grow the market share here before they. But here, yeah, meta profitability is a long term view, but it's all about solving the problems here first. I think Uber is also on that on that. Uh, path right mm. um, uh, the local so when we are talking about Southeast Asia we are talking about Uber and Grab but when when we are talking about Indonesia that is the crown in ASEAN so the jewel in ASEAN's crown so they have Gek Jo right or something Gojek Gojek yeah yes Gojek is also a strong contender there as uh, an Indonesian startup in Indonesia and they are a strong contender in Indonesia so in Indonesia the fight is between Grab Uber and Gojek and it's just heating up. What, but is that why he, and the one thing he admits is, the man never seems to sleep. Yes. He's told <laughs> you, right? He, yeah, he I saw it. his uh, fitness tracker thing, uh, app that he wears with, he ha- tracks his um, sleep and all his activities, right? Yeah. So, so, Kepola to say, oh, you know what, 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 how, since you're that, so his sleep, because, I mean, he, the, his schedule is crazy. He shared with us that he can fly up to five flights in a week just to go That's to nuts. different countries, because Southeast Asia, they're in, countries here right so Mm. all the different cities for meetings for Mm. fundraising for work checking out on all the local teams and um yeah and then after that there's there's so many things so when we looked at his tracker his app thing Mm. he slept the past two weeks when we looked at it it was like four and a half 
average of four and a half hours <laughs> a week, and the, the other one was five hours. So yeah. So he travels, and sometimes he travels with his uh, young family. So it's it's very interesting. But I think he has a lot of energy. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely. Mm. So now with all this money, now with all this interest, the localized content thing. I mean, like, did he share with you what's gonna be the next thing for them? Oh, they're gonna just build on the two. Uh, businesses here, which is ride hailing and e payment system, and mm -hmm. of course, invest into R and D mm -hmm. and talent because that, that's important, you know, coming up with like R and D um, to come up with more innovative products and solutions for the customer. And of course, e payments is going to be really big, they are looking into that. They bought Indonesia's Kudo, yeah, um, that will help with the unbanked. Helping to reach out to the, the unbanked, unbanked, which yeah. is m yes. numerous actually which in is Indonesia, really big. yeah, in Indonesia and also in this region. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of The Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.